Hello everyone. So this is the update for uh, Tritium. We finally had some success with our hover vehicle. Um, some of you may have known from prior is that <coughs> on the client side, which is this window here, not the server, we were having uh, lag issues when entering a vehicle. So we entered a vehicle and yeah, the body fell off, but now we actually have a um, client prediction vehicle. So it turns, you know, with the with the mouse and uh, we actually have our movement and uh, you'll see the that red is a trace line it's actually doing a uh, it looks down every frame and determines whether it needs to push itself up or push itself down that's why it actually has a little bit of a hover effect uh, and as we go to uh, you know surfaces you'll see it sort of pops itself up um, so this keeps it at a nice height um, and of course we go over the water and it's observing the water doesn't try to sink but I did find something interesting in that this vehicle actually will go underwater if, you'll see in a moment, way, way up and boom, we actually go underwater for a moment and pop back up and you know, we kind of equalize there. I thought that was interesting. I don't know if I want to uh, switch that because having it dunk in the water is kind of cool if you're coming down super hard. Um, I think I actually want to add something where if you are at a super great height and hit, you'll actually blow up. So uh, we might want to do some stuff. But it's kind of cool watching the trace line, uh, like a trail, like Tron almost. It's like the, uh, the, the, light, the light cycle, I guess, almost is an interesting um, effect, uh, which is something that I had a hard time. I actually tried working on a light cycle once and creating a, a ribbon that was dynamic like this in real time in multiplayer is actually really bad. Uh, so here we go, and up and over, and boink, and then come back out of water, so that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, you'll notice the animations are not working at the moment. I'm going to be connecting that soon, because again, we're using, well, it's, it's basically custom made now, uh, a vehicle movement, but it is pretty cool cruising around at these speeds. Um, I think it's going to need some tweaking. I don't think I should be able to go sideways like this that fast. She only go forward. Um, so yeah, that's our. Uh, let's see what happened. By the way, I'm curious. Uh, actually, let's switch. We're going to switch over to the uh, actual server, and I should be able to, to jump into the other vehicle. And there we can see all the all the ray tracing. And, uh, and there we go. And then we jump in and hmm. Yeah, I guess it almost feels like the server is, if you notice, it's jumping up and down more. Um, no, I guess it's okay now, but it, it, it almost felt like it was going up and down a little too much compared to the other one. So here we go, cruising around. Seems to feel okay. Nice and smooth. No frame rate loss. And uh, we'll jump back over to here. And sure enough, yeah, nice and smooth. But yeah, you'll notice he, the, the server seems to be going up and down more so than the client, which I find highly interesting. Yeah, it seems like it's... Ooh, look at that. It's starting to oscillate. So that is uh, that's something I'm going to have to look into, is why the server... If you're playing on the server, you oscillate more. But um, that's it. Thank you very much.